We are getting really warm here over the next several days, pushing close to record highs. Our average high is about 65. That's our morning low. And a little bit more humidity may usher in chances for rain, but it's not going to be like a major rain event. Today looks really nice overall, though unseasonably warm. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish updating the five-day first alert forecast when our next front comes through. And we return to a little bit more typical cooler weather. Hint, it'll be later in the weekend, early next week. With a warmer air, we're already starting to see the return of pollen. It's not the worst of it, though. We're not into pine and oak, but cedar pollen is already starting to make its comeback. A lot of storylines developing that has people talking throughout the state of Florida. One is the Florida House action, which would better regulate social media and prevent kids under 16 from having access to social media, essentially barring them from creating a social media account. We're hearing from you in the open mic feature of the WOKV app. Parents especially wondering whether or not this is a good idea to have social media companies be better regulated by the state. Some of the toughest regulations in the country if it ultimately passes. Or if you, as the parent, should ultimately be the police on this. Use the open mic feature in the WOKV app. Uh, the state board of governors taking action to eliminate and defund certain DEI programs in the state of Florida. It's led the University of North Florida to plan to phase out uh, the Women's Resource Center, the uh, LGBTQ Plus Resource Center, and others, leading to some concerns and fears, really, among students on campus at UNF. We're hearing from them. We're hearing from you as well throughout the morning. And ultimately, what may happen to all those jobs that are uh, associated with it. Our coverage of you to Side 2024 continues as the dust has settled from the New Hampshire primary. Nikki Haley still in the race. Uh, focused on her home state primary in South Carolina, still multiple weeks away, the pressure and the funding questions that may lay in the, on the table as well. These and other stories updated through 10 on Jacksonville's Morning News.